Temperatures are about to surge to near 90. That means some of us will be looking for a place to cool off. But swift water rescue teams say not so fast when heading to the river. Tracy Henson explains why this year is more dangerous than last year. Water, lots of it. Rain hasn't let up and it's caused our rivers to swell. Our waterways right now are full. They've, uh, they've received a lot of rain over the last several weeks um, and there's going to be water in places that you may not normally see water throughout the year. High water is often muddy water, hard to read if you're on the river, and even harder to see any obstacles that could be in your way. You may have an entire tree or large branches that are underneath the surface of the water. So while you look across it, it may seem nice and calm and smooth. The water is moving very quickly and it hides what's below the surface. Something outdoorsman Ted Bryant has learned through the years. Oh yeah, it definitely happens. I have a dent in the canoe from uh, my son and his knucklehead friends uh, getting into a predicament last summer. Ted has a workaround to avoid those kinds of situations. When the rivers get up to levels like this and you're going to want to go higher upstream, uh, they are navigable upstream because uh, they subside a little bit quicker. If you do hit the water, one piece of equipment could save your life. It's extremely important that when you're working or playing by the water that everyone has a life jacket on. It's a very simple thing that truly saves lives. Along the Merrimack, Tracy Hinson, five on your side. Captain Coppin says creeks are also high right now because they can be just as dangerous as swift moving rivers.